Hi, everyone. I am focusing on South Carolina because I live in South Carolina. I live right here in Anderson. And just a little while ago, I was doing some research. And yeah, I've been having problems with my brain. Feels like it's kind of turning to mush. Now, during research, all of a sudden my left ear gets muffled like somebody has just, you know, stuffed cotton in it. And I hear this incredibly high pitched tone that lasts a lot longer than usual. When I when I experience the frequencies, I'll go to IntelliCast. Well, lo and behold, we've got heart rings right where I am in Anderson, but these heart rings extend out and, well, if you took this ring and kept going, you could bet that those in Highland and Spartanburg and Simpsonville, Lawrence, Clemson, they're all affected by very dangerous frequencies. Now, I'm not sure, but this could be a signature of scalar technology. We have the ultra low frequencies being set off in Columbia. And we have what looks like more heart rings down in Aiken and Batesburg, Orangeburg, Greenwood, Newberry, Columbia, Pontiac, Sumter. All right. This is not, this is not, this isn't the way life was supposed to be. You do everything that you can to feel better. And you can't get there. So, at the risk of getting judgment from those who want to just throw down a comment um, saying what you do and you feel better and therefore you think everybody else should be feeling better, so many people are doing so much and they can't get there. I have uh, this friend who also lives in Anderson and my god this woman it's like a full-time job everything that she's doing detoxing hydrogen peroxide therapy oh so much uh, and she might have a couple of good days and then reverts back. I don't like the fact that now we have so many external forces controlling how we feel physically, mentally, emotionally. And how I've been feeling? Well, let's just focus on the last two weeks. I almost don't know. Are the frequencies just going off now 24-7? I don't know. Now, it's hard for me because I do have an awful lot going on in my life that would not make someone happy. Okay. Well, I've been kind of living that for a while. <laughs> and I can usually pick myself up. For some reason, I've not been able to do that. And everything is requiring an effort. Yeah, I'm exhausted, but it's it feels more emotional. 
when we see these ultra low frequencies, when we see these harp rings, well, that can explain why I am feeling the way I'm feeling. Whatever is going on in South Carolina, today I heard three times what sounded like military jets flying over Anderson. And I have one that I caught on uh, my camera, which I'll be posting a video. On the artificial clouds, that it's, it's shocking to see this and and then it's crickets that you hear from people and I'll post a video on that but it is the ionization of the atmosphere I believe they using these generators to shoot negative ions and I do not believe that these are the negative ions that make us feel good because I can't tell you how badly I've been feeling really struggling um, but all they need are these generators to put the negative ions into the atmosphere and with the use of electricity they can create clouds that's what we've been seeing here so the ultra low frequencies going off in Columbia extending the, the, the range of these frequencies they can they can um, extend 300 miles so if the frequencies are also shooting off from Columbia and I see only a little bit of a defined line right here um, the ultra low frequencies can be reaching Anderson you got the harp rings at the same time There's a new place I've noticed they shooting off these ultra low frequencies very close to Anderson. They shoot them off from Spartanburg, Tennessee. They are regularly activated coming from Bean Station. Uh, not entirely sure, but it's around there. But there's also harp rings that you can see in Tennessee, right here. So Knoxville, Maryville, Seaverville, Seaver I my friend in Tennessee that's now dead, but. She'd always laugh whenever I pronounced Seaverville. But, you know, Greenville and Morristown and Johnson City, Irwin, and into North Carolina. This is our war, guys. And they are turning the war volume up big time and if I had the ability which every day when you have an ability and I'm not saying it, it, it's not about good or bad ability when you have some ability to do something and you've been doing it and then suddenly you can't do it but you keep trying because it's kind of like all right this this I should be but it's not happening and that's a very frustrating experience 
I don't know, it, it's an exhaustion, but it's also kind of like an emotional thing where I just can't put the videos together. I can't go to the editing program. I can't, you know, splice the videos. I was feeling better. Today was the first day that I was feeling somewhat better. I mean, that you feel a certain way every single day and you shouldn't be feeling this way physically. You walk every single day. What is going on? When after I walk, I feel as if my joints are like cement and I'm sore all over. Well, these frequencies can do that. I also talk to neighbors. No one feels good. A neighbor yesterday said, as I'm watching the artificial clouds being made right in front of my eyes, she's talking about how she doesn't understand why she feels so bad, why she feels so tired, and why she feels, for her, it was, what did she say? Not grumpy, grouchy. And she couldn't understand why. This is how the war is going down in our country. And I, I'm focusing on South Carolina because I'd really like to hear from you guys. How are you feeling? When I look at the sky, and I know I never ever see anything natural anymore. When we had 97 degrees, what was it, last week? And for three days, it felt hard to breathe. And I know that they have, uh, the oxygen level is far lower due to the geoengineering. When I watch these mountain clouds growing, and it looks like they're growing from the ground, and I know what is happening when, when you know that they're changing all of the natural processes it's going to have a huge effect on all life and I'm not liking this I am I still have that mind that says, come on, you can do this. And then I can't do it. It's hard to explain. And I know a lot of people are really tired of this. You know, the, the, I have a friend in Houston who's really suffering. And I email her a capture of these ultra low frequencies going off in Houston, in Maine, Portland, very often has ultra low frequencies going off. Now just because there's no precipitation that you can see in Maine does not mean that the ultra low frequencies are not activated and operating. We've got, we have an awful lot going on with these frequencies. We've got heart brains bouncing, it, it bouncing around. right here, then right here, Omaha, and Kansas into um, Missouri. Oh, wow. All right. Well, this is not good, guys. 
look at all of these frequencies being shut off. You can, oh, Jesus. This just started, actually. This was not happening when I first started this video. Wow. Not good. You see the very defined circular patterns. That's what you want to see. And when you see that, wow, they're shooting them off all over. They, I, I, this was not happening. So what time is it? It's 11.15. This just started happening. Massachusetts, New Hampshire border. Right here. Columbus, Ohio. A lot of harp rings that are intersecting and a lot of harp rings with the ultra low frequencies going off. All life is affected by what you are seeing right here. And you can see the ultra low frequency, the signature, the defined lines, straight lines, the circular. Uh, uh, look, Jesus, man, we're in trouble. This is our war. This is how they're bringing us down. I will say this, I am a fighter. And every day I do my absolute best. When I see that I am my absolute best is so far lower than ever it scares me. Now, is it, you know, listen to scare, okay? Um, it scares me for all of us. Not that I am Superwoman and I'm going to fight for all of you. What it's doing to me, I know that it's doing it to other people. That's what I'm saying. And is it like, am I scared, shaking in my boots, and a, oh my god, I don't even want to go? No. No. It's just this, I know what's happening. And more and more people are going to be destroyed. And you know what? We're going to have weather events this summer. And this summer is going to be absolutely brutal as far as I'm concerned. This is what I think. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But I think it's going to be so brutally hot. We might see power outages that they may very well deliberately turn off power, claiming that people are using too much air conditioning and it and it, you know, that's why we're having the power outages. I am not somebody who gets, I, I hate air conditioning, hate it, because I feel awful. I'm somebody who needs the windows open, I need the breeze. Well, I don't have breeze anymore. There's no cross ventilation. I only have two windows, they're right out in front, nothing, no air comes in my windows. But I am someone who has always been able to tolerate great heat, might turn on the air conditioning a couple of hours when I was up north during those last two weeks of August when that was your typical heat wave period. Well, now we're having heat waves whenever they want to give them to us. But the oxygen, the, the 
all things atmosphere has changed. So the heat already has felt unbearable. And so much so that I have thought, I don't know how I'm going to get through this summer. It's going to be not good. So whatever they are doing, um, it does seem, based on my going to IntelliCast and other satellites, radar um, websites, the eastern half of the country has been hit hard. Hit hard with electromagnetic microwave frequencies. Every, every day or night for the past two weeks. And whatever the hell is going on in South Carolina, I don't know. Anyway, if you got this far, thank you for listening. And you guys, South Carolina, let me know how you're feeling.